Today we're going to be working on evaluating variable expressions. Evaluate each using the values given. We have n squared minus m. And it's telling us that every time we see m, we substitute in the number 7. And whenever we see the letter n, we substitute 8. So in this problem, we're going to substitute n is going to be 8 that was given to us square minus m which is 7 8 square is going to be 8 times 8 which is going to be 64 64 minus 7 is going to be 57 in this problem we're going to be multiplying 8 parentheses m minus n same thing as the other problem we're going to see wherever i find m i'm just going to put whatever number it's given to us in this situation m is given to us as 5 and it's given it to us as 2 and all we do is plug in those numbers a m is going to be 5 minus n which is 2 now we still have to follow the pendants rule, so we have to see what's inside the parentheses first. So we're going to do 8, and we're going to do 5 minus 2, which is 3. And then we're just going to multiply 8 times 3, which is going to be 24. In this problem, we're solving m n divided by 2. The number that's given to us is m equals 2 and n equals 7. So we're going to just plug in the numbers. Wherever we see m, we're going to put a 2. So here we'll put 2 and the n is going to be 7 divided by 2. We'll do 2 times 7. 14 divided by 2, 14 divided by 2 is going to be 7. In this example, we have m plus n to the third power. We have m equals 19 and we have n equals 2. So we do the same thing we did on the other examples. Wherever we see m, we just plug in the number that's given. In this situation, m is given as 19. So we're going to plug in 19 plus n. n is given to us as 2 to the third power. Okay. Now, 2 to the third power is the same as 2 times 2 times 2. We can go ahead and do 2 times 2 is 4. And 4 times 2 19 Bring down that 19 plus 4 times 2. So 19 plus 4 times 2 is going to give us 8. And 19 plus 8 is going to be 27. When you have something, another problem, we have 2 times 4 or 2 to the 5th. You do the same thing, 2 times 2 times 2 times 2. And the same thing, you have 2 to the 5th power. And so on. 2 times 2 times 2 times 2 times 2. This example, we're going to be using m parentheses n divided by 3, close parentheses, to the second power. Where we see the m, we're going to put in 4. Where we see the n, we're going to put in 9. So for m, we use 4 parentheses n going to be 9 divide by 3 to the second power. So we're going to do whatever is inside the parentheses first. So we do 4. 9 divided by 3 is going to give us 3 to the second power. Then 3 to the second power is going to give us 9. So I'm sorry. It's going to be 4. Then we go 3 to the 2nd power, it's going to be 9, 
and 9 times 4 is going to give us 36. We have n, parentheses m, minus, parentheses 9, minus 4, n, close parentheses, and close parentheses. Now we're going to do the same thing we always do. Wherever we see the letters, whatever numbers they give us, we're just going to substitute those numbers into those variables. So for n, it's going to give us 2. m is going to be 4, minus... 9 minus 4 n is 2 and what we'll do whatever is inside printers first 2 4 minus 9 we do this here 4 times 2 is 8 then we do 2 4 minus 9 minus 8 is going to give us 1. So we do 2. 4 minus 1 is going to be 3. And then 2 times 3 is going to give us 6.